Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. So, Toma is here, and I am excited to talk about him. And I just want to say a little few things right before the video starts, guys. Thank you so much for the support on all my videos and on my channel in general. Guys, a lot of you guys are not subscribed to the channel, but do watch the videos. So, please consider subscribing to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. And if you do like a video like this, please consider liking this video as well. Let's get straight into the video. Toma is pretty awesome. I enjoy Toma a lot. Um, he's one of my favorite characters in general, I guess. And uh, I just want to, you know, say a few things about him. Um, first things first, um, I, no I do not have him 80 out of 90. I think that's fine. Whatever. Uh, he is 80 out of 80 right now. Uh, his current build isn't the absolute greatest either. He's missing a bunch of energy recharge. He's missing some pyro damage bonus. And his crit rate is okay, but the critical damage is kind of lacking there as well. Um, both need to increase dramatically. Toma is super good in my personal opinion because he has a lot to bring to the table. Not just the shield, not just, you know, the damage or whatever. His ability to be in team compositions that was like weren't there before. And his ability to just meld in with other teams. Pyro resonance, a lot to consider when using Toma in any of your Genshin Impact teams. So, his weapons. Well, I have the Wave Breakers fin on him currently. And it's 80 out of 80. And it has a lot of base attack. It has really high base attack for a 4-star weapon. And really bad main stat. It, its attack percentage is basically not even there um but yeah it is what it is but its actual ability for every point of the entire party's combined maximum energy capacity your elemental burst damage is increased by 0.12 percent for every point so you can get around a maximum of 40 percent only on r1 however if you you know continue to increase the refinement on your wave breakers fin it's going to improve dramatically to the point where 0.24 percent is the max for the r5 and 80 percent that's big that's very big so at r1 it's okay I, I wouldn't recommend it for toma however if it's r5 highly recommend it In, all right so why i wouldn't recommend the wave breakers fin at r1 it's because the catch is so much better than it I currently have the catch at R1 only, and once I get this thing to R5, it's going to be an absolute power hat. R5, 32 increased, you know, elemental burst damage and 12% increased burst crit rate. That's really good. That that's very good. That's a good, good, good ability on this, and it's absolutely free. Versus the wave breaker spin, where you have to get it, you know, refinement up and whatever, it's not really a good time. So I would highly suggest going just using the catch. Don't bother going with this new weapon, even though it looks kind of good. Um, the ability is really good as well, but unless you have it at R5, which you can get none of it potentially, it's not really that good. And not to mention, it costs Prima Gems versus the free R5, you know, the catch. Not to mention, the catch has energy recharge stat on it, which is very, very nice. And yeah, you need energy recharge on Toma. Let's, let's not get ahead of that. But I'm currently running the uh, four-piece MLM server fate. It's not completely complete yet because, well, I don't have the best set on him yet, I guess. Um, and I'm hoping to increase his energy recharge, but it's looking pretty grim right now. Uh, because I do have the Wave Breakers fin. I would suggest going with an energy recharge sands, which I currently do not own. The only energy recharge sands that I could use is this one, but it's a four star. I don't think it's that worth. Um, but for now, he's looking okay. Uh, he's looking a little healthy. I have him at constellation one, which I would recommend for everyone to get. It's pretty good, but it's not necessary for him to be at any way, shape, or form useful. He's very useful without, with or without it. Um, this is really good though. His C2 is absolutely massive and makes it so you can have his shield up all the time. So once you use your burst, you'll have his shield or whatever until the next burst potentially. If uh, you don't take that much damage, obviously. Um, his max HP, his base max, max HP is actually pretty low. It's one of the lowest for some reason. But it's there. It's good. We move on. Um, so his talents are currently 188. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I do I do like Toma. But I think the catch is better than Wave Breakers Fin. However, I will be doing some sort of a quote unquote showcase. I just want to show you guys what he can do in a team uh, against the Pyro Regis Fine, obviously. Um 
So what I'm going to do is try to vaporize, you know, using uh, Shinkcho as well as Toma. That's what I'm going to try to do. Obviously, I'm not going to use Hutao. I'm not going to use Diana. It's just them two. Try to see how much Toma can really do with it, with the 77 crit damage. But uh, yeah, just testing out the Wave Breaker's fin, I guess. Alright. Dodge this. Attack. And uh, <laughs> I guess we could just wait on it this way. And there we go. Could do a little more Pyro on him. Already got a Vaporize in. As you guys can see, the Pyro, the, sorry, the wet application is always up. So he will almost always Vaporize because of... Shinkcho is just amazing, honestly. <laughs> Shinkcho is just really good. But yeah, his damage, not that great currently. But once I do get his crit damage create up, it will be so much better. So a weapon that you might want for Toma is actually the Staff of Toma. Get it? No, not that funny? Okay. This is actually really good for him. Has crit damage. You can increase your HP by 20%. This is the best in slot. Without a doubt. And if you guys want... Ow, that hurt. If you want an HP type build, um, you might as well go with the Black Tassel. Has HP on it. And uh, obviously, I would still suggest the catch. It will perform adequately. Increase your burst. Energy recharge. Decent base attack. You can still rock this set right here. And you'll be just fine. However, there is another set that I actually want to try out. So I want to try out the Noblesse set on him. And I think it would actually be a much better decision to have a Noblesse set. As well as a two-piece Crimson Witch. Alright, there we go. Uh, as you can see with the Wave Breaker spin, you can't really get his uh, his elemental burst when you know cooldowns over or whatever. But with the R5 catch, you might actually have a chance. But yeah, uh, in general, Toma is pretty awesome. I do enjoy Toma. He has one of the coolest character designs, in my personal opinion, at the current moment. Um, his just general character design is pretty awesome. Um, he's pretty good in any team, Pyro Resonant included. Um, you can build them pretty freely. You can use the tenacity, tenacity set. Excellent support. Um, I would, re I, I would recommend this character. Pretty good. But I would never compare him to a Xing Chou. Xing Chou is just really strong. And there is a reason for that. Talents, his, you know, just abilities in general are way out of any league he's absolutely incredible and i would not compare the two at all because of the difference in strength Ring Cho is so powerful and even though before i did think that he would be like a pyro Ring Cho, i was very wrong it's not a fair you know comparison in any way shape or form but it is kind of nice to have both of them on the same team so his pyro will not override Ring Cho's just because of how fast Ring Cho will you know, use his elemental burst and how fast he can actually apply the wet status. So in any shape or way and form, Shinkcho will always may be wet. So in this current team, uh, having Hu Tao, uh, you would always vaporize with Hu Tao. So you don't have to worry about that too much. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel as well. If you guys want to see any type of video in this format, in this way, let me know in the comment section down below. That would be greatly appreciated. See you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.